Well, this weekend kicked off the season for a lot of teams. That includes FAU, and fans were excited to see a few new things. That includes a new head coach, a new conference, and hopefully a new outcome. Go! Fans poured in from near and far for the season opener. We've been Owl fans for over 20 years. And all eyes were on the Owl's new head coach as he put on the main headset. Well, we have a new coach. He brought in uh, somewhere around 60 new guys and uh, everybody is pumped for this uh, start and uh, I, see, I see a bowl game for us. And with FAU now joining the AAC, the team hopes that this will boost their standings among the country. I think it's going to be a challenge, but it's a good challenge because uh, it's going to rise everything up in terms of uh, recruiting and um, uh, kids coming here and wanting to play against teams like Tulane against uh, East Carolina. Luckily, the Owls basketball team, which was honored at the game for their Final Four run, put the nation's eyes firmly on the school. Now, it'll be up to the Owls on the gridiron to keep it there. Let's get to the highlights. Owls are up by seven in the first, and then Casey Thompson fires one across the middle to Tony Johnson for the score. Owls now up 14-0. But Monmouth would get on the board and cut the lead to seven, so FAU storms down the field, and Thompson goes to the air and finds Western for the quick six. But the Owls offense isn't done yet. Once again, Thompson looks to the end zone, and this time he finds the hands of Jaquan Burton for the 21-point lead. And the Owls roll on to win 42-20, and now they'll get ready to face off against Ohio next weekend, and it'll be home here at 6 p.m. But now only time will tell as things continue to get tougher, especially now joining the AAC. That means playing teams like SMU and number 24 ranked Tulane. So only time will tell if 2023 will be the year of the Owl, and we'll see them soar.